Hey guys, I'm responding to this post here on Facebook, um, asking about how to record clips into your podcast. It's a really easy way to do this. Like if you have clips on uh, QuickTime that you're just playing on your computer, or if you're going to a YouTube video and you want to record the audio from there without having to download the whole video and then convert it and everything, um, you want to install, there's a variety of apps that do this. Soundflower is the one that I use. And it literally is just like a virtual input output that sits in your computer. Um, so that's one that you could use. Um, I show you audio capture is another one. Um, audio hijack is another one. I find Soundflower is just the easiest because it just sits here and it works and you don't really have to do much besides change the input output. Uh, so first of all, just go to YouTube. Once I'm not going to walk through the installation in this video, but once the Soundflower and everything is set up, go to click on whatever video you want to use. Let's just do this for the sake of demonstration. We have uh, your output here, your sound output for the uh, for your Mac. And if it's not showing up here, go to System Preferences and click on Sound and click this button, Show Volume in Menu Bar. Now the shortcut that I use, if you hold option and click on the sound output here, it gives you the option to change your input and output device of your computer without having to go through the menu. So basically when you wanna record some audio off your computer, you just change, hold option, click here and change your output device to Soundflower. And then go into your DAW of choice. So I'll pop open Logic here. And before you start a new session or anything, just go to your audio preferences and make sure your input device is running off of Soundflower. Apply changes, good to go. Now I'm just gonna start a brand new session here. So you can see, uh, stereo track input one and two is Soundflower because we, we know we just changed that. Set uh, whatever you need to do in your particular DAW, record enable, and we'll record here. We see nothing's happening, and then I'll go back to YouTube click play and you should see audio is coming from YouTube into your DAW. So you just record for as long as you need to and manipulate it as you see fit and that's really the uh, it's really all it takes. And then just remember when you're done here, if you're mixing or anything, uh, if you need to go back to recording on your mic, change the input back and for your computer before you confuse yourself as to why nothing's playing, hold option again and change your output device back to either internal speakers or your interface, which in my case is the Mo2. So hope that helps. Thanks, guys.